10 minutes now, no stories. You've always been the best raconteur in rock music, which is not much of a, a same because most of them are monosyllabic. But when you were in Yes, it was this majestic, deep, uh, macrobiotic band that they were with these, these lyrics about, um, you know, who knew what, about Sanskrit books of the dead and stuff. Yeah. And I used to see your eyes closed in that big glitter cape, doing the Mellotron and everything else. Yeah. But was, does that mean your heart and mind were not entirely in the concept of topographic oceans and stuff? No, I must admit, Toby's graphic go-kart, as I used to lovingly call it. <laughs> it was, uh, uh, I used to close my eyes a lot because most people eat after a show. I used to have violent courage before <laughs> I mean, uh, You had them during, I remember. Is that I did, that, that's true. But I, uh, that, was, that was when I had the famous boycott curry. You know What's that? that? Uh, well, it's like a vindaloo curry, except the runs come slower. Oh! <laughs> So, yeah, it's very good. So, okay, so there you are, a member of this Yes group. Where's the photo? Where have we got a photo? Oh, a photo? No. Look at that. Yeah, oh. look. Now, at that time, you were in the curries and, and, uh, and supporting Brentford and, 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 and drinking quite heavily. Still not doing that. No, not doing that. But uh, at the time, I mean, rock was so full of pomp and majesty. And I can't believe that, as I say, you weren't 100% into it like that. No, but what did the rest of the band do? I was because they were into it. Oh, well, they were riveting. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> actually, I, just, I mean, John and, John and Alan are great friends of mine. In fact, Steve's still there. We, we, we... Topographic Oceans, just, I don't want to move you on, but I just yeah. want to, because I can't believe, maybe I imagined this. That was recorded with on hay. Is that yeah. The... Well, what happened was we decided originally that we... I mean, we in case to... people don't know, Tales from the Topographic Oceans was perhaps as far as rock got towards overblown gothic uh, Sanskrit lyrics and very took itself very, very seriously. But it was recorded You now. liked it then, didn't you? No, I did. I bought it. I, that's all you want to worry about. I bought it at the time. Actually, it weren't bad. But what, we, what happened was what everybody decided... <laughs> I don't remember that on the ads. Rick Wayne went, ain't bad. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we decided that what we were going to do was uh, record it in, a, uh, in the country. Yeah. And we went out to all the country and then nobody decided they wanted to drive out of the country. So I arrived at Morgan Studios, which is where we decided to do it, in Wilson. And Monty Babson, who was the boss there, I, write, I use the studios a lot. I've done King Arthur there and all the other, other albums. And I arrived there and Monty called me and he said, nobody else would come. He said, Rick, can I have a word with you? And I said, yeah. He said, uh, the rest of the lads, are they all right? I said, yeah, they're fine, why? He said, uh, and a couple of lorries come this morning. <laughs> and I said, uh, what with the gear? He said, no, the gear came last night. And I said, what? He said, I think you better come over and look at Studio 3. And I went in there and it was full of haystacks. They got a cow with an electric motor oh, with the no. others. I like that, honestly. And we, and we got like white fences, and instead of having a drum booth, he had like a white fence with all the. In the things. studio? Yeah, it was all like, it was all like, it was unbelievable. I mean, my gear was the first time I ever had to send away for service for Greenfly. It was <laughs> Why? Why did it? Oh, well, because it's one of those things you did, wasn't it, really? They wanted a, a rural feel. They field. wanted a rural feel, and then you walked out into Wilsdon. And yet... <laughs> and yet it's outrageous, wasn't it? I mean, that's really rural for and you. And yet, right? as I say, they were, you know, it was overblown rock, took itself seriously, oh, and they were indulgent, and, and everything that went with 70s rock and roll. Yep. And yet, at the same time, as I said in the introduction, you're on Clive Dunn's granddad, too. I was on the full-up, Grandma. Were that you? Right, yeah. You're on Grandma. Uh, How comes you're on things like... You're on Black Sabbath records? Yeah. You took just any gig that came along at the time? Well, I was, basically, I was doing sessions, most like three sessions a day. It was the, it was the era when sessions were... But was you were in, like, one of the biggest rock groups of the, in the world. Yeah, but, I mean... <laughs> but Clive Dunn doesn't do Tales from Toby's Graphic go kart <laughs> <laughs> no. How come you're on Clive Dunn's, then? Well, I got invited to go on and do it, and I'm a dad's army freak. In fact, Ian Lavender, who plays... I said, next to you, you've got to get Ian on, because he's a wonderful right. rapper, great stories. And I was just a dad's army freak. And I met him and he was lovely. He was a lovely and so man. that bit of the beginning goes dun da dun da dun da dun 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 That's you? No, it's not. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Alright, all right. what other things do I want to ask you while you? We can't do um, so many of them about different things you've got going on. One yeah. of the things I won't do, because I know that everybody comes and does it, is hold up their new CD and oh, say, Oh, let me this do that. No, this is what comes oh, out on... Let, let oh, me tell oh, you, oh, say. Fancy me finding this in the crazy video. Let me tell you, let me tell you. I'll do that at the end, because it's galling when you come on and people are bland, try or just no good and you have to do it. You're earning your call here. There's a couple of more things before we finish this. Yes, sir. Um, and you've got to come back, because I'm remembering about six or seven other real great ones. That's apart from the jokes. Uh, let, me, let me ask you, as we, you don't drink anymore. No, sir. You used to be notoriously good at it. I don't want to get yeah. into the whys and wherefores yeah, and how tough right. it is. But there's, you just said to me before we came on, and this is quite honest, you said... Ask me about drunk driving. Yeah, I, I got, I'm, not, I'm not very proud of getting done for drunk driving. I've, no. I've been teetotal for eight and a half years now, nearly nine years. But uh, cut a boring long story short, I used to be the chairman of, of a local football team, Cambly Town Football Club. 
And my Saturdays used to be playing golf in the morning, going off, having a curry, going down to the football club, watching them lose. They lost every week. And then come back home. <laughs> well, it's one thing. I like to keep things even in my life. And then uh, <laughs> I'd had my game of golf, pretty, pretty nasty round one. I had a pretty fierce curry, you know, quite a serious one. You, know, yeah. you get good ones and ones that work. What happened to this bit about cutting long stories short? What happened to that? <laughs> I haven't gone through the 18 holes of the golf club, have oh, I? Right, yeah, yeah. So I arrived down at the football. I'll, I'll, I'll put a clock on this. Okay, yeah, go on. We, we, we arrived, down, arrived down at the football. I think we lost seven nils. Good result for us. And then afterwards, I'm in, the, <laughs> I'm in the little committee room talking, and then I felt the curry working, which is always a bit of a worry. Now, that, now <laughs> my, house, my house is only, a, it's only about a mile from the football ground, so I get in the car, and I'll go roll at the time. So I'm driving up the road, and line of traffic, there's the old policeman there with his old radar gun, but everybody's going the same speed, but he points at me, I'm in, mm. right? So I'm, I'm half a mile from my house now, and a little cold sack pulls me in the ice. He said, you've been to Camden Town for a I said, yeah, yeah. And he said, have you had a drink? I said, yeah, right. So I have to blow in this thing, and I failed. See, now, he was on a motorbike. He said, I've called for a panda car to come around and take us. I said, OK, fine. So I'm standing, and the curry starts working. <laughs> right, and I'm standing on the pavement. There's all the people out in the house going, oh, I've nicked him. No, no, no. And I'm standing there, and I said, excuse me, officer. I said, I'm having a bit of a problem, a bit of a fierce curry, a bit of a stomach problem. <laughs> I said, the police station's only 50 yards away. Couldn't we walk to it? And he said, no chance. He said, no chance, son. So we'll wait for the car. So I'm saying, I'm in agony. Another, another police bike pulls up, and I know this guy, and I told him the situation, and he says, I'll have a word with this. So this other policeman actually puts me in an arm lock, right? And he marches me over to this woman's house. He says, right, we will come with this. So he goes there. There's this woman on the door. He said, do you have a downstairs toilet? And she said, yeah. He said, I'm coming during this for the use of our prison. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I go in there. I've got my Camberley Town blazer on, the old full bit. And he goes in there and he inspects the... I don't know what he thought I was going to do, like, creep out the u bend and, like, disappear. <laughs> no, it's not funny. I mean, all I wanted to do was send a yeah. little sausage to the seaside. And I'm going in... So he, he opens... So I, he says, in you go. So I go in there and I'm sitting there. I go to shut the door and he puts his boot in the door. <laughs> he says, you're not shutting the door, son. So, OK, fine, you can stand it. I can't... So I'm sitting there. <laughs> this is absolutely true. I'm sitting there with my strange dab on my ankles, my Camberley Town blazer on, right, in a stranger's toilet, having a bit of a, yeah. you know, I've been done for drunk driving, and I'm with a size 14 boot in the door, and I'm thinking, well, nothing else can happen. And at that moment, <laughs> through the gap in the door, journey to the centre of the Earth album cover. <laughs> And this, this, woman, this woman's voice said, will you sign this for my son, Jeffrey? <laughs> so, oh, believe me. Hold on. There is so much more that we... Uh, there is, I knew about very little of that that was coming up. There was so much more that was having us in, in rehearsal going for it. Uh, and we do this for people, as I say, even when they've not earned it. But I don't care what you ever thought of Yes or Grandad or anything in the canon, Journey to the Centre of the Earth. I'm going to do this because if anyone ever earned someone a bit of this on television, the album is called No Expense Spared, Wakeman with Wakeman, there it is. And even if you, you haven't any time for this, I would say you must now have time in your hearts and lives for Mr. Rick Wakeman. Yeah.